What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and we are back to do a tutorial about how to better upload photos in your WordPress, WooCommerce site, or really just any other site in general. But let's jump into it. We're going to go over um, just like proper stuff you should be doing when you are uploading photos. I see a lot of people, you know, whether they get the link from the photographer or downloading stock photos or whatever it is, just not resizing or compressing their photos properly when uploading yeah let's just jump into it so um i'm gonna go to you know i'm on unsplash this free stock photo site and i am just gonna download this photo okay and i want to add this photo right here to um, the background image here and if i look at this photo and i take a look at it i can see that it's 3.6 megabytes so megabytes is basically it's saying like 3.6 thousand or 3600 uh, kilobytes I think that's right 3600 kilobytes so if I open up this photo and I look at the dimensions it's 5000 or 5200 pixels wide right here I know I can probably just do 2500 pixels wide or just looked at the original image, which I did before, and it's 1600 pixels wide. So I'm gonna come back to this image, and I'm just gonna update this to 2500 pixels wide. Okay, and before I do that, I'm just gonna make a copy just to show the difference. So I'm gonna make a copy of this, same image, and I am just gonna update this to 2500 pixels. I'm gonna save this to the desktop as well, and if I open this up, I can see already we cut it um, it's three times smaller just by resizing it from like 15 5200 pixels wide to 2500 pixels wide um, and with that um, you might be saying this image is ready to go but um, also I want to compress the photo so I'm gonna go to a tool like compress jpeg.com and I'm gonna upload this photo. And it's gonna compress the photo. You can bulk, I think you can do up to like 20 JPEGs. They also have like PNGs, SFGs, PDFs, GIFs. Um, really I use this primarily for JPEGs and PNGs. GIFs can get a little tricky with whatever you're doing. But as you can see, this went down 17% or 17%. So I also can adjust this quality right here. So I can, I usually pick somewhere between 75 and 90. So in this case, let's just go up to 80 and see what we get. So I'm gonna reapply the optimization and it's recompressing it. So now we have a photo that's 35% smaller than the 1.2. And if I just open up my desktop, you can see right here, here is the difference. So now this is 756 KB, it's 1.2 KB, and um, et cetera. So we reduce this by, I don't know what the math is there, but, but quite a bit, right? So five times, I think roughly, um, just by resizing the photo down to you know a minimum or maximum width of 2,500 pixels, and then compressing it through compressed JPEG. Um, there's also, you know, tiny P, Tiny PNG, you know, just type it in like compressed JPEG photos into Google. You should be able to find some other um, image compressor plugins that you want to use. So now when I go to um, my site and I'm going to upload or update this photo right here. So these two photos and I'm going to upload. I'm just gonna rename this to image banner new. Maybe it's something else for you. Sweet, and I'm gonna select this. Same thing for my mobile. And I'm gonna click update. So now when I view my page again it has the image so a lot of times people ask me how how low can I go um, and the quality to get you know a smaller file size because a smaller file size means the page loads faster I know you can lazy load and do a bunch of stuff like that but um, 
images usually account for like over 50% of the total page size, sometimes like 70%. So you can go however low you want to go. So I think there's just like a middle ground though of like, you need to like check and see if it's actually, um, you know, helping out. So if I go all the way down to 10% quality, and let's say I apply this. And now if I go to my desktop again, see this is now 55 KB, so it's like 10 times smaller than my last opt optimized image. But if I compare these like side by side, like this clearly does not look like, I don't know how, um, how good of quality your YouTube video is on, but if I go to, you know, the one I just upload, uploaded and I compared to, you know, 10% quality, it looks pretty shabby, right? We wouldn't want to use this photo. Um, so there's a middle ground of still having like the quality that um, is like your users want and also not having an uh, image that's like 3.6 megabytes. So, and now if we compare this to the original photo as well. So compare this original photo to the very compressed photo, right? And now if we compare the original photo to the other photo, you know, they look they look very the same. So cool, that is um, how to compress photos and do it better on your WordPress site or WooCommerce site. Um, I've just seen like horror stories of people having just like images at like over one megabyte. I would say that's like a big no-no. Anytime you have like over one megabyte in your WordPress library, you need to like resize the photos or just do a better job of resizing and compressing before uploading. Um, make sure to adjust the size first then compress it and if you have like current photos that you want to bulk like optimize you can use tools like such as you know short pixel that will automatically do this when you upload I believe they have um, you can do up to 100 images a month on their free plan and then after that it's like 499 a month I'll put that link in the bio click the link in the bio if you want to check it out um, and then image imageify which is like the makers of WP rocket also have a plugin and a bunch of other people like you image optimizer and there's just a lot of a lot of things out there um, hopefully this was helpful just to understand that a smaller image size makes your total like website and that web page smaller it can load faster obviously you can lazy load and do a bunch of things like that but just you know knowing um, this process and not just taking you know those 5,000 pixel wide photos from your photographer and just blindly uploading um, is going to save you you know your users time on when they're loading your site and also you know if you have a bad host and don't use you know a good WordPress quality host there's a bunch of them out there but like Kinsta or, or WP Engine um, Flywheel etc um, it's going to it's going to uh, really benefit your site so that is how to better upload um, photos on your WordPress and WooCommerce site. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that like, and subscribe. See you guys next time.